Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Undisputed cruiserweight champion Alexander Usyk to face Tony Bellew in his next fight. Stay tuned. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang please hit the bell icon shout out to the super chats channel donations the venmo donations and the patreon family we working well a great fight was announced at least in my view and i'm on matchroom boxing their official page this is what they posted the undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world wbc ibf wba wbo and ring magazine world titles at stake October 11th from the Manchester Arena and it says it's on with, with some crown Alexander Usyk versus Tony Bellew November 10th Manchester Arena Usyk Bellew hashtag all the marbles hashtag he who dares listen I'm gonna keep this video brief this is an awesome fight excellent fight there was a bit of worry at one point because for whatever reason the WBA being the WBA doing what they do they try to step in and order a mandatory and that didn't go over so well because everybody knew these two were in negotiations and rightfully so nobody wants to see Alexander Usyk versus Dennis Lebedev more than a fight like this listen Tony Bellew is a man's man he has a punch he was in the movie Creed so I'm sure he got some new fans from that he was a champion actually one of the belts the wbc belt was freed up courtesy of bell you moving up to fight david hay because nobody beat him and took his belt so he became a champion emeritus or champion in recess as he was going on to have two fights with with david hay as long as tony bell you can make weight comfortably which i mean he knows his body so if he's taking the fight hopefully that's not an issue because he did have his last two stints at heavyweight against David Hay. But I like it. You know, this is a really good fight. Interesting clash of styles. And I think for Usyk, who just became undisputed, this is probably the toughest test, you know, that he's faced. I mean, I can't think of. Murat Gassiev has a punch, but he didn't have the experience of Tony Bellew. Bellew has won won titles defied the odds you know beat guys like david hay he wasn't supposed to beat he got stopped by adonis stevenson at light heavyweight and then moved on and became champion in higher weight division like cruiserweight so he beat bj flores he's just done a lot you know and he's like like i said a man's man no choice but to respect this tony bellew says i don't know how i don't know when but i know i will take him i want those belts you know this will be like a Cinderella man story. Usyk, very skilled. You know, he, he's considered a guy with a lot of momentum. He has an amateur pedigree, Olympic pedigree. So it's, it's, this is just a great fight. You know, I have nothing bad to say about this. And I'm glad that they, they got this cracking. In my opinion, for British boxing, um, Tony Bellew, Tyson Fury, and Billy Joe Saunders, they are definitely showing that they're willing to face the best from around the world. It's unfortunate that Anthony Joshua did not fight Deontay Wilder next because, like I said, for Brit as far as British boxing, these guys are showing that they're willing to face the U6, very dangerous. You know what I mean? Good movement, undisputed, all-time high confidence. Tyson Fury willing to face Deontay Wilder. Billy Joe willing to face Demetrius Boo Boo Andrade, a guy who's been heralded since the Olympics and the amateurs. You know, you got to give props to both of these fighters 
for stepping up to the plate. So, two Warriors, Usyk Bellew, October 11th, Manchester Arena. Be there. I can't wait to watch this one. It's going to be on Sky Sports, I'm sure, pay-per-view, and then DAZN also. So, DAZN got, a, got, got one with this. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.